I finally got approved and I got my lease today. I'm going to try this like monthly tasks and events spread. I'm sorry I didn't tell you. I didn't tell anybody about this because, first of all, I'm getting ahead of myself. Hi guys. If you're new here, my name is Jenna. I film a lot of productivity, lifestyle, bullet journal videos and vlogs, so if you want to hit subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. Welcome to a night in my life after work and a special night in my life after work because I don't have work tomorrow. And this is something that I really want to encourage you guys to do too. You know, everyone deserves to be a little selfish and especially if you're working from home and you feel drained and if you have a hard time saying no like I do, then don't be afraid to just take a day of PTO and tell absolutely nobody because then you can give yourself, like you're giving yourself pay time off for yourself, not to make plans with other people or to do whatever. Of course, you can do whatever you want. But I think the beauty in not telling somebody or not telling anybody at all about a day of PTO is that you're in complete control of your day off and I feel fantastic. So again, I'm sorry to my friends and family who are watching, but I needed a me day. But yeah, welcome to a night in my life for you guys. The truth is I tried filming this yesterday and I just completely forgot. I was able to get some footage of my workout because yesterday I went to the gym right after work. But today I was able to go to the gym in the morning and I got a good, guys, I'm sore everywhere. I don't know. <sighs> I'm just so energized. I'm just really happy that I have a long weekend. Welcome to the vlog though. I don't really know what we're gonna do tonight, but I actually do have some personal things to get done. So I have some news. I applied to an apartment at the end of April and I finally got approved and I got my lease today. So we're gonna go and sign that and look at all the papers and everything and make sure that everything's all good. I'm moving in July, so we actually have a good, like, what, two months until I move in. So that's exciting. <laughs> I cannot wait to take you guys along. And honestly, I cannot wait to show you guys my new place. It's so, I'm not gonna say where I'm moving just for like privacy sake, but it is a newer building in Arlington. And because they are new, they were doing um, a move-in deal. So I was able to get two months of free rent and three months of free parking. And that's pretty freaking good for the place that I'm moving into. So I can't wait to show you guys. If I'm able to do an empty apartment tour before I move in, then I'm definitely gonna film that for you guys because I just want you to see the place too. And I wanna start the whole moving journey. Carter and Selena, my friends on YouTube, they're currently in the process of moving to different houses and apartments. I'm really excited for them, watching them move, but it just makes me so excited to move in the summer. I can't wait to get my own place and it's gonna suck saying goodbye. Well, I'm not gonna fully say goodbye. I'm still gonna be close. It's just gonna suck not living with my roommates anymore because I really love them and I had a really amazing year with them. We're gonna start this whole new journey together and oh my God, I've been talking for too long at this point. Okay, let's go fill out my lease. But that's the news. I'm moving officially. Uh, let's, I barely, also you guys, I barely stood like all day. I really didn't have many standing breaks also, so my back is like really killing me. I have my laptop here, so we're gonna fill out my lease and read everything over and send in everything. I'm so freaking excited. But before I forget, I know you guys, 
I've gotten a couple of DMs now about this laptop skin and it's not a case, it's a skin. So it's like a sticker that you put on top of your laptop. I personally don't really need a case because if I travel with this, then I'll put it in like a travel case. This is actually from the brand Unique Find and they have really, really beautiful MacBook skins if you're interested. I'll link it below for you guys, but before I forgot, that's what it is. Let's fill out this lease. Oh, wait, I actually have so many things to update you guys on. Okay. First lease. <laughs> so excited oh my god i'm just so excited okay also i haven't bullet journaled in so long and i was i've been really mad at myself for not bullet journaling the last like week or two it's almost been like a week now and i really want to catch up on it and i'm kind of thinking i'm just gonna do like minimal designs like nothing crazy i just like want to get these spreads done and like actually use my bullet journal because bullet journaling is my planner and it keeps me in line with everything that i need to do and because I was behind on it, I literally, I forgot to pay my rent, guys. <laughs> I was literally one day late in paying my rent, and so I had to pay an extra $135 because I was late, because I didn't plan it out. So I need to, I need to like get going on my bullet journal so that I don't miss any more deadlines. So now that the lease is officially done, I need to freaking bullet journal and I've been like looking forward to this honestly so if you guys are new to my channel I have a bullet journal and it's like my favorite thing ever I just haven't prioritized the time for it lately but here's my May theme it's just like pretty florals and here's my monthly cover that I literally have not filled out at all and then it's just blank so let's make a couple of spreads I don't know we'll see I want to do like really simple things because honestly I just want to get them done so, okay, let's get going. I was kissing you with my eyes open, but you said, you said, keep them closed and be in the moment. So I did, I did, did my best to make you feel wanted. But what about what I want? What about what I want? And what I wanted was to crash with my dumb friends on the weekends that I'm watching. Hi guys, I've actually finished all of my monthly spreads because I made it so minimal. I'm actually excited though because I know that next month I want to do a completely minimal layout, which I've actually never done before. Like I don't want any doodles or anything. I just want minimal. Let me show you guys how this looks though. Here is my cover spread and then we have our layout. You guys have seen this before. Here's what I did for my habit and mood tracker. I made it very minimal in terms of the preparation. I just have six habits. I haven't even chosen them yet, but I have six habits I'm gonna track. I'll just put a little dot if I've done it. And then here's my mood tracker where I'll draw like a flower for my mood that day. And then here is my fitness tracker. Again, very minimal. I went with the line layout too because I think it just saves a lot of time. But I think overall this looks really nice. It's just very simple. And then here's my journal and memory prompt. I left it blank because I haven't chosen the prompts yet. And then here I'll just add a Polaroid. I thought this was kind of cute. I like put it in a little garden of flowers. <laughs> I don't know. And then we get to the weekly layouts, which actually I think honestly, guys, I'm going to try this like monthly tasks and events spread because I just haven't been very good with bullet journaling lately and I don't want to be mad at myself for not getting my weekly spreads done. This is just the one layout that I'm going to use all month and we're going to see how it works. So overall that means my bullet journal Instagram will not be very active this month but honestly that's fine. I've always told myself I'm not a bullet journal creator. I just use bullet journaling as a form of planning for me and and honestly if I'm just personally not feeling inspired to make spreads this month then 
then we're just going to use one spread all month. That's the beauty of bullet journaling. It's literally whatever you want it to be. And this month, we're just doing a monthly layout all month. So here's how it looks. So this is kind of the Dutch door like style. On the left side, we just have a master task list because I honestly, realistically also, I don't bullet journal every single day. So I kind of want to just test this out and see how this works. So I have tasks on this side. This one half of the Dutch door spread, I have just like a don't forget and I'll just put random notes and stuff here. On the other side, I have affirmations and encouragement and I'm just going to write stuff as I find it throughout the month that I could just go to quickly when I need some affirmations or encouragement. And then here we have events where I can just jot down any events that I have planned and then... And then yeah, so guys, this is the Dutch door spread of the month. Let me know what you guys think. This is the best that I can do this month and I kind of like it. I don't know. This is different guys. This is, I've never done anything like this in terms of just like one monthly layout for the whole month. So let me know what you guys think. Maybe I'll add more details as the month goes on, but. Well, I'm actually really glad that's done. Thank God. Oh my God. Wait, I forgot to show you guys this. I want to show you guys something that I got in the mail today. Filippo Loretti reached out to me on Instagram and they wanted to send me, they wanted to send me a timepiece. And I wanted to show you guys because it is, it is absolutely stunning. So if you guys don't know, Filippo Loretti is a pretty famous watch company and I would say they're pretty well known in terms of their watches for men, but they recently came out with watches for women. And I think that this is just absolutely gorgeous you guys know that i love my apple watch i wear it all the time but it's funny because when i was in last weekend's outfit the weekend in my life that you guys saw where i was wearing the button down and like the cute jeans and stuff i was actually thinking that this apple watch just doesn't look cute with certain outfits i feel like we've gotten so used to smart watches and having an apple watch that if you think about it at least with this band, it doesn't look very nice. <laughs> so I was really excited for this watch to come in because I don't really have a good timepiece. So you can see on the wrist, it says Filippo Loretti. It's this beautiful two-tone watch. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I love two-tone things as, as you guys know. Here is what the watch looks like on. I think it's so pretty and- Okay, let me show you guys what I mean. Let me just put on the outfit. Especially for those of you who are going back into the office soon or in the near future, or if you just need a good watch to, or if you just want a watch that's not a smart watch. Okay, this is kind of what I mean. Like the outfit just looks so much more like put together and I feel like it looks more chic and especially business professional when you're wearing a watch that's an actual watch and not a smart watch. I don't know, do you guys know what I mean? Even like weddings too, there's just definitely a time and place where you don't need to wear an Apple watch. And yeah, I just think this looks really nice. What do you guys think? Phil Pellaretti was also so kind to give me a discount code if you want a timepiece for yourself. They just released a bunch of really beautiful watches that are circular with like floral backgrounds. There's really beautiful marble backgrounds. I don't know, if you're looking for a good watch and you want to get one on discount, check out Phil Pellaretti. But I need to get this adjusted because my wrist is too small for it. So thank you so much to Phil Polaretti for sending me this watch. I think it's, I think it's stunning. Okay, well, I'm gonna put this back in the box so that I can get it adjusted, but I just wanted to show you guys. I thought that it was so pretty. I was just really excited and yeah, this is the watch. Well, I need to change out of this outfit now. I did all this just to show you guys this. I went to Trader Joe's yesterday, so I'm pretty good on groceries and I'm hungry. And I really just want like a chicken Caesar salad. I don't know why, but Let's go make a chicken Caesar salad. <laughs>
you guys, here is today's dinner. I have a chicken Caesar salad. Oh my God. You guys, this looks, this looks like a restaurant Caesar salad, okay? If you guys are curious, I pan fried chicken thigh and I literally left it on the pan for like solid 10 minutes so that it would get crispy like this and I coated it with salt, pepper, garlic salt, cayenne pepper and smoked paprika. So it got crispy and then I refilled my glass of wine as you guys saw. Here is our dinner tonight. This looks freaking amazing. If you guys are wondering, my roommates are not here. They're not here a lot of the time that I'm vlogging just cause I'm like, I'm like shy <laughs> when I'm vlogging around them and I don't wanna invade their privacy or make them uncomfortable in their, in their living space. So it's just you and me. I know that Caesar salad is supposed to be like a side, but there's just something about having an entree Caesar salad with some good chicken. Oh, it's so good. I feel like there was something else I had to catch you guys up on too. I wanna to talk to you guys. So let me know in the comments what you wanna know about me, what, what you're curious about in my life. Listen, I put my whole life out there. I mean, not my whole life, but I put a good chunk of my life out there on the internet because I wanna connect with you guys. So just let me know what you wanna know and and I'm happy to share, hopefully. I'm like, I'm... What's up, YouTube? <laughs> What's up, Gen Xers? Oh my How's God. everyone's day? Jenna's over here eating a salad. Jerry makes me uncomfortable. Nasty. Mm -mm. Look at these socks they sent me. Mm. <laughs> Jerry, why don't you talk to them? Tell them something about yourself. They love you. You guys love Jerry whenever he's on my vlogs. You see, what do you guys want to know about me? Leave it in the comments that's what below. I, I, that's what I just said. I was like, let me know what you want to know about me. I'm a simple man, YouTube. Of simple things. Do you like it? Isn't it like not, isn't it not what you expected? Sure. I think it's good. Do you like it? Yeah, not bad. I like carrots. I like carrots. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back on my floor. It's actually pretty late now. It's like nine o'clock. Okay, that's actually not that late because I don't have work tomorrow. I did forget something that I did want to tell you guys. It's relating to my purchases. I did order some things. <laughs> Oh boy. But I ordered them today. So you guys saw that I was on my last page of my Dewey Studios notepad, sadly. It was actually pretty gross because I had spilled wine on it before. <laughs> so it had this like huge stain on it. But I used up my last one. So I was trying to find a new notepad. And I bought this notepad. Let me show you guys. There's this girl on Instagram named Type Haley, but her name is Haley. Matsumoto and she makes really beautiful graphics and animations for YouTube channels and she's so good. I just love her whole vibe and I think I'm gonna eventually get something from her when I feel like I've used up the intro that I already bought from Fiverr because I just love the one that I have now but Haley has just really cute stuff. Let me show you. This is her website and just like oh my god these animations are so freaking nice. She also just has like a products lifestyle shop. So if you're not a content creator and you don't need any digital downloads, she has like stickers and notepads. This is the notepad that I got. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Especially since I'm not purchasing like an intro or anything from her just yet. I wanted to support her. So I got the daily schedule notepad. I'm so excited. Look at how freaking Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. The notepad was $12 for 100 sheets and it's five and a half by eight and a half. So I'm really excited. I just love getting new like stationery and stuff. I think eventually I'd love to have my own notepad, especially work related daily to do's. I use notepads more than anything. I don't really need a bullet journal or just another thing to prepare when it comes to work. So I like using notepads for work and I'm really excited to support Haley and, and use this notepad. So I wanted to tell you guys about that. And then secondly, I did get some Gymshark stuff. <laughs> to be fair, the last time that I bought a piece of workout clothes, like the last time that I bought a sports bra or leggings was, I don't even remember when. I think it was when I got my Set Active Onyx set. And I don't remember when I got that. 
but since I don't remember, it must have been a really long time ago. So long story short, it's been a while since I got anything gym related and I just wanted to spice it up. The Gymshark Adapt Camo Collection is just literally the best. It's completely squat proof. It has like a nice subtle pattern and they make your butt look good. Just everything about the Adapt Camo Collection is so, so nice. And they just released new colors today and I literally had to get it. Let me show you guys. In their new releases, they have like all of these new ombre colors, which are so pretty for the summer, but that's not what I got. I got the pink camo. So that's like what the butt scrunch looks like and everything. It's actually pretty subtle, okay? It looks kind of crazy, but the camo is very subtle and I actually don't have like a light pink set. So I got the leggings and I got the sports bra, <laughs> the matching sports bra, and I got the shorts. And then I also wanted to get just a pair of like fun, like fun summer stuff. So I got this. These are the Hyper Amplify shorts and I thought they looked cool. I don't know. I don't have anything like this. And I got this sports bra in light gray. So hopefully it'll mix and match really well. And I literally made this purchase. It was a hefty purchase. I spent like $200. Within five minutes of making this Gymshark purchase, I realized that I paid my rent late and I had to pay the extra $135. So I lost a lot of money today. In a way, I'm glad because I really wanted to get more gym apparel and like I always say, investing in anything that you would use every single day is never a purchase to regret. I regret it only because I'm, I feel very down bad in my wallet, but I don't regret it because I can't wait to wear it like every single day. Okay, those were seriously all of the updates I think I had to tell you guys. I just wanna, I don't know. I like these non-work related vlogs cause I love the work stuff, don't get me wrong. I love that I can inspire you guys and help you feel more productive when you're working from home. But I also just think that you guys are my friends and I wanna update you guys on what's going on in my life and hopefully if you're watching at this point in the vlog, you wanna know what's going on and you wanna hang out, so. This is just stuff that I'd be telling all my friends. It's actually, the night's over guys. It's 9.30 and this is like when I go to bed. Even though I don't have work tomorrow, I still wanna get a good amount of sleep because this is when I can catch up, you know? Okay, let's get ready for bed. Really? Literally, the only guy that's me, he's just, he's just so experienced, you can just tell. I think about you all the time, babe, 24 seven. I wish that you could say the same, but it's not ever for today's night in my life I feel like I feel like this was a very typical night in my life in terms of what I do after work I really just have a glass of wine I eat dinner I hang out with my roommates and and if I can really make time for myself then I'll bullet journal I'm really glad that I was able to bullet journal with you guys today it's definitely something that I've been slacking in you guys know that I've been feeling kind of underinspired with my bullet journal, but the nice thing about hanging out with you and vlogging is that it encourages me to take care of myself too. So we'll see how the monthly spread goes. I'm kind of excited to like try it out because I've never done just like a monthly spread for the whole month. But regardless, I hope you guys had fun at catching up with me and just getting a little glimpse of my life as always, telling you guys what's up and what's new with me and I want to know what's new with you. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. But until then, miss you already. Good night.